Walking into the grocery store can be an overwhelming feeling. There's a lot going on, different products and labels everywhere, and often we want to get through the store and get what we need as quickly as possible without spending a lot of money. When you think about saving money at the store, the first thing that comes to mind is using coupons and checking for sales. But did you know the labels at the store actually share another money-saving secret? You can use the product labels to determine the unit price of an item to get the most bang for your buck. So what is the unit price? It is the price per unit of an item, typically measured in pounds, ounces, grams, or liters. By understanding the unit price, you are able to compare the price of the item in different size packages or from different brands, making it easier to select the product with the best price. You've likely seen labels on the shelves under the items at the store, but didn't know how to use them to your advantage. Most product labels typically include the item name, the total price of the product, the price per unit, and the total amount of units in the package. To find the best product for the lowest price, we want to focus on comparing the unit price by using this label. Here is an example of dried red beans you can find at the store. You can see the overall price of the full bag of beans, the size of the bag, and the price per ounce of this package. There are certain items in the store, usually in the produce section, where the unit price might not be on the label but you can calculate it yourself. To calculate the unit price of an item, take the total price and divide it by the size of the package. Here is an example of tomatoes that you might find in the produce section of a store. From the label, you can tell that it is a 24 ounce container of tomatoes that costs $5.98. To determine the unit price, you will take the total price of $5.98 and divide by the size, which is 24 ounces. The unit price of the tomatoes would be 25 cents per ounce. You can use this information to compare similar types of tomatoes to determine which are the better buy. Using the store's labels are very helpful, but you want to make sure you double check to ensure you are comparing similar products. What should you do if you notice two products have different units? For example, here are two labels for ground beef. One label shows that the price is $3.18 for a 16 ounce package, and the other label shows that it is $13.68 for a five pound package. So to determine which is the best buy, you need to figure out the price per ounce of the five pound package. The first step is to convert pounds to ounces. There are 16 ounces in a pound, so this package has 80 ounces in it. Next, we divide the price by the number of ounces. $13.68 divided by 80 equals 17.1 cents per ounce. When we compare the unit prices, we see that the five pound package is the better buy. Even if the larger package is the better buy, you want to make sure that it fits in your shopping budget and you have the ability to store and use this amount of meat in a timely manner. Probably one of the most common ways to save money at the store is to compare name brand products to store brands. Let's practice comparing food items that are different brands and sizes by using the unit price to determine which is the best buy. Here are two different brands of rice. The store brand option costs $2.48 for five pounds coming out to 3.10 cents per ounce. One name brand option costs $2.14 for 32 ounces, coming out to 6.69 cents per ounce. For this example, the store brand is the better buy. The cereal aisle is full of options with multiple brands and sizes, so using the unit price to determine the best buy will come in very handy. Here, we have the same type of cereal, just different brands and sizes. Our first option costs $2.28 for 14.5 ounces, coming out to 15.72 cents per ounce. Our second option costs $2.48 for 18 ounces, coming out to 13.78 cents per ounce. In this example, choosing the 18 ounce box is the better buy even though it's the name brand cereal. 
Another important area in the store to use unit price is the frozen foods aisle. There are usually options for larger quantities that are easy to store in the freezer to use at a later time. Here is an example of frozen broccoli. We have a 16 ounce bag for $1.48, coming out to 9.25 cents per ounce. And a 40 ounce bag that costs $3.68, that is 9.20 cents per ounce. Here, the 40 ounce bag is the better buy, but not by much. So only select this option if you have the freezer space and plan to use it within a few months. We all want to find ways to save money when we are purchasing nutritious foods for our families. Using the labels to determine the unit prices at the store is a great tool to make sure you get the best deal each and every time you buy food. For more tips and resources, visit the Expanded Food and Nutrition Education Program website at efnep.tamu.edu or the Texas FNEP YouTube channel.